All right, guys, so here's the deal. We haven't done a video in a while, and I get lots of questions, so I'm gonna address one in a video. So, if you follow my Instagram, if you follow my Facebook, if you're on any social media with me, you know I shoot a lot of duck and geese this time of year. And we've got them kind of piling up right now uh, at our house, and our freezers are getting full, and it's time to eat some. And because one of the questions I get asked all the time is when people see piles of geese and duck on my Instagram and Facebook, uh, I get the question asked, what do you do with all those? Well, the short story is we eat them. We eat them. We don't just shoot stuff and let it waste, right? For us, it's field to fork. The best protein, the best food we can get is the ones that we harvest ourselves. So that's what we do. And today, I'm going to show you a quick, easy waterfowl recipe. A lot of people always go, man, I don't want to shoot duck or geese because I don't like the way it tastes. It's nasty. How can you eat that? Well, the long story short is, guys, my kids eat this. My three-year-old daughter, who is a picky eater, eats duck and geese. My son, who's picky, eats duck and geese. My wife eats duck and geese. I eat duck and geese. We love this stuff. And so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a video showing you what I think is the easiest, best waterfowl recipe I've come across. And it's easy, guys. It's so easy. All you do is start with a pile of waterfowl breasts. And so today I've got duck because that's kind of what's piling up right now. Got a lot of duck right now, so I'm gonna cook that. I think I'm doing six breasts. And the first thing you do is you start a pot of coffee. I know, it sounds weird to start with a pot of coffee. Um, now some people will go, hey, of course you start with a pot of coffee. The best way to cook duck is to get some duck breast, start a pot of coffee, drink the coffee, throw the duck breast out. That's, that's not it at all. But this will do an amazing barbecue duck sandwiches is what we're doing, so chopped duck. And it's going to taste like beef brisket by the time we're done with it. And it's so easy. So the pot of coffee, the duck breast, uh, eat a crock pot or slow cooker, depending on, I guess, what part of the country you're from. Uh, put in the comments below if you call it a crock pot or a slow cooker, because I'm just kind of curious. I'm Midwest. I'm Kansas. We call that a crock pot. So tell me what you call it in your area, though. And then so the crock pot, coffee maker, coffee, and a bottle of your favorite barbecue sauce. Really, that's all it takes. It's just that easy. All right, so here it is. I've brewed my pot of coffee. Uh, I've got my coffee right here. It's fresh, it's hot, it's ready to go. I've got my six duck breast and my crock pot. All I'm doing, guys, is just chucking the duck breast in there. No really kind of method or madness, just making sure it's kind of evenly covered and good to go. There's a feather still, but I got most of my breasts cleaned up. Okay, I've pulled the shot out of these already. You can see some of the holes in the sh from where the shot hit. And I'm just kind of spreading them out to where they are all covering the bottom of the, uh, the crock pot. And then from there, all I'm doing, guys, is I'm taking a hot, cut of, uh, hot pot of coffee. Now, it sounds weird because we're doing slow cooker, but it's a fresh hot pot of coffee. And I'm just pouring it in. And you'll notice it's going to start cooking them immediately. That's, that's okay. I've done this recipe several times. And I just pour a full pot of coffee in there. Full pot. And that's a man-sized pot, right? That's a full 12 cups. I've got my coffee and my duck breast in the crock pot. You can hear my lunch sizzling behind me. I'm, I'm sauteing up some chicken breast. It's going to be money. But uh, so I'm going to let the, the duck breast though cook for about four hours. And then I'll come through and I'll shred them or chop them up, whatever works best for you. For about four hours, I'll shred those. And then they go back in the crock pot with a bottle, maybe two bottles of barbecue sauce, depending on how much meat is there. And just pick whatever barbecue sauce you like. For me, our family, we like a hickory smoked barbecue sauce. So we're going to do a hickory barbecue sauce on there. I'll let them go, let them cook for another couple hours, and then we'll be good to go. Then by the time a couple hours is done, we'll pull those back out. We'll serve that on sandwiches with like some roasted okra, some roasted broccoli, some vegetables, and we're good to go, guys. It tastes just like chopped brisket sandwiches. Do this recipe. It's so easy to do, and I promise you, any person that doesn't know it's waterfowl will not even know. I literally made this recipe for Christmas a couple years ago, took it to my in-law's house, People ate it. They loved it. They loved the chopped brisket. I didn't even tell them what it was. They just assumed it was chopped brisket uh, for barbecue sandwiches. And no one knew it was waterfowl. I know. That's mean. You probably shouldn't trick people. But here's the thing. They never, ever would have eaten it if I told them it was duck. But they ate it and they loved it. That's how you know it's good. People always say, duck's no good. That's wrong. You just don't know how to cook it. All right. So I just got home. And we're going to start finishing up the uh, duck barbecue. 
Got my yeah. kids. <laughs> Got my kids. Tell me you want to say hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Dutch and Scarlett were ready to go. Dutch is being a ninja, and Scarlett is just hanging out. So we're gonna go over here and check to see the progress in the duck. It's been cooking now for I don't know since lunchtime. It's like 4:45, 5 o'clock now, and so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out. So bear with me here. There, I dumped the coffee. I don't think you need to see that. Just a pot of just a coffee on some duck breast and crock pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Out, you can see, so we got it dumped out and you can see the duck breasts have shrunk pretty heavy with all of the cooking that they did. And you can also see the crock pots looking pretty nasty from all of the things going on there in the cooking process. We're not gonna leave it like that, guys. I'm gonna take the duck breasts out real quick. I'll shred those. I'm gonna clean the inside of the crock pot so it defunkifies in there. And that doesn't like flavor our barbecue today. All right, so you can see, all right, so you can see that the crock pot has been now filled with shredded duck. I spared you the monotony of having to watch me shred duck breast. All I did, guys, was take a fork and just grab it in one hand on a cutting board and then just kind of do, just kind of do this action. Where I got the breast, just, that's all I'm doing to shred it. If you don't know how to shred it, if you're not quite sure what you can do, just grab a knife and start cutting it into small chunks, guys. It's not a hard process. And I'm going to go ahead and drop our barbecue sauce in. And I just grabbed our favorite kind of barbecue sauce as a family and just squirt it all over there. And you're going to need quite a bit of it, honestly, to go ahead and coat that. And I know some of you guys are going, but you're taking away the taste of the duck. I, I know. That's, that's kind of the reason, guys. Duck is a strong taste. It's really awesome. So I've got, I don't know, about two-thirds of a bottle of barbecue sauce in there. And I'm just going to let it cook now for a little while longer. So I've got that out of there, and it's going to start to cook for a while, guys. And I will show you the end result. By the way, my kids, when they saw me making this recipe, got super excited and just ran outside of the house and screamed. My, Dutch, my son Dutch said, Sister, do you know what we're having for dinner? It's duck. And they both yelled, Yay, our favorite. So even kids like this recipe, guys. I'm telling you, if you've never tried this and you don't like duck, try this. You will like it. Get out there and hunt, guys. All right, guys. So we have our final recipe. Let me go ahead and open that up for you real quick so you can see what we've been working with here. And you can tell. Let's see. There we go. We are done. So, guys, that is the best waterfowl recipe that I have. It is fantastic. Uh, pretty good. Not too hard to make either, guys. It's simple. Remember, all it is is take your duck, your goose breast, whatever you've got, clean them up real nice, get the shot out of there because nobody wants shot when they're eating, right? And then you put them in a crock pot. Pour an entire cup or a pot of hot coffee over that. Let it cook for at least two hours. I do two to four hours usually. And then I swap that out with barbecue sauce. And then I put about, for me today, I did about two thirds of a bottle of, bar, of our favorite barbecue sauce. Let that cook for another two to four hours. And then I went ahead and we're ready to go, guys. We're gonna serve that, put on some hamburger buns, some sandwich meat, whatever you, or sandwich bread, not sandwich meat, sandwich bread, whatever you've got, and you're good to go. That is the single best waterfowl recipe that I have, especially if you have people that don't like duck and goose. If anyone says, man, duck and goose, it's just no good. I have guys that I hunt with fairly regularly who shoot geese pretty often, still have not found a good goose recipe. Guys, this is the best one, I'm telling you. We tried so many things before we found ones that we really like. This one is awesome. Enjoy it. Remember, field to fork is the best way. Get out and hunt, guys.